Hey, what is going on, my sunshines? I hope everyone is having an amazing day. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see from the title below, your girl cannot stay out these after Christmas sale streets. I'm at it again with another haul. And this haul is just going to be as long as the first and second one. And if you have not seen either one of those, I'll make sure I leave those cards up above so you can check them out just in case you want to go check out and see if you can try your luck on some of these deals. You guys, let's do a disclaimer. Excuse how I'm looking. I know I'm looking a hot, hot, hot mess. I have been in these streets, like I said, I've been organizing. I have taken one of my utility closets in my home and I took everything out of it, cleaned it and wiped it down really good. And I made it my entertainment closet per se. Um, basically what that is, is all my little knickknacks, overflow of um, pillows for different seasons and tier trays and any small decor pieces I could fit in there. I have organized that and put it in there so I can, you know, keep up with all my, 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 my stuff, you know, instead of having all in totes and boxes and things of that nature. So yeah, I've been doing that. I've been doing some hunting. Your girl has been back into hunting for Ray Dunn. Um, I think I have went to at least four stores a day since Monday, <laughs> trying to see what I can get for as the Valentine's collection because last year when I started I didn't I wasn't able to get anything so yeah I do have a couple of things for as Ray Dunn um items from Walmart of course you know Walmart is my jam I got Big Lots I got TJ Maxx I got Marshalls I got um Hobby Lobby I got Dollar Gym I just got a little bit of everything so if you guys like this type of content please continue to watch and let's go ahead and get started Okay, you guys, I don't even know where to start. I just got stuff all around me. I am in my living room. Y'all already know this is like my favorite spot to get good lighting when I do a video late off in the evening because here in Texas, it is probably around 4 or 5.30. And um, this is where I get the most lighting at. So, yeah. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And it's no in particular order. If I repeat myself, I do apologize in advance. But like I said, I got stuff scattered all around me on my couch, on the floor, and on my table right here in front of me. So, if I repeat myself, I do apologize. You guys, another thing before I forget, because I know I tend to kind of forget. If you like these type of comments, please, please, please consider subscribing. Like this video and leave me a comment down below because it does help my channel. I do know I have lost a few subscribers and I'm a little sad. But at the same time, I'm not discouraged to continue to put out these type of videos and everything. Because I know a lot of my new subscribers or for um, Ray Dunn. And like I told you guys before, I'm not all about Ray Dunn. Um, I do lifestyle and fashion. So if you like these type of contents, please subscribe if you're not already done so. Like and comment, it helps your girl channel out. And it just keep encouraging me to wanna put out more and more content for you guys because I know lately I have not been getting a lot of interaction like I would for my Ray Dunn. So, with that being said and got out the way, let's go ahead and get into this haul. Okay, the first thing I have in front of me is this really cute pillow um, that I picked up from TJ Maxx. And it says, um, let's turn it around. For, um, excuse me, family-owned free sleigh rice and hot cocoa Christmas tree um, farmhouse. And it's a cut your own tree. And it's this really pretty light gray striped um, and white uh, pillow with the tree um, farm right here in the front. I just thought this would be super cute for this year's Christmas to put in my living room. And I love the fact that this back part is solid. So if I would like to use this for maybe Thanksgiving with my other pillow that I showed you guys for my Thanksgiving decor for my living room, I can put it like this for Thanksgiving and I can pair it with that pumpkin print pillow that I have and then when it comes Christmas time bam I can just turn it around and have my Christmas pillow so like I said I picked it up from TJ Maxx for eight bucks 
I don't know if you guys follow me on um, Instagram, but I had told you guys that I was out hunting for yellow tags and basically yellow tags is like the bottom price i do know they will go a little lower on yellow tags depending on how long it's been sent on the shelf but it was originally 19.99 and i got it for eight dollars so i thought that was a pretty good deal and it's a really good quality pillow so i got that from tj maxx i'm gonna try to stay i'm gonna try my best to look, look around and try to stay with the, within the store but um uh, I, I, I can't promise you that you guys. Um, next, I got this item right here I'm about to show you from Marshalls. And it's just this really big bottle brush tree. I went to opening, uh, what day that was, Friday. And I didn't look up on anything. So I just looked around for um, any items that I could possibly use. And I found this cutie right here. It's like a really, really soft green sage green color but i think i'm gonna spray paint it silver or white i don't know and i got it for from marcia's for three bucks i asked the lady to scan it again to see if it was even lower maybe a dollar fifty since they was in the um the i think they call it regions um when they started marking them down even lower and she didn't even want to scan it for me she's like no that's the lowest it got i was like whatever i'm not gonna bitch about it because three dollars is still a good deal because these right here are running three dollars for just this size at the target dollar spot so i was like i'm not gonna complain and it does have a white base and it was originally 9.99 so i picked that up for this year's christmas next let's see what i have in front of me excuse that bag rattling um since it's right in front of me i picked up this little cute teddy bear that says kiss me from dirt cheap you guys know I love that store, and this item was originally from Dollar General for $3, but I got it 50% off, and I just thought she or he would be super cute to display some kind of way on my coffee bar, because the hubby's birthday is in February, February 11th to be exact, so I am dedicating my Valentine Ray Dunn display to him, so I got that. Next, at the Target dollar spot, I picked up the um, little, what are these called? Spatulas, spatulas, yeah. So I was decided to find these because I do know I was going to do another Baker's Corner in my kitchen. Um, and this one has the red rubber with the white hearts and it was one dollar. And this one says, bacon is love made edible. And it's white with the red and pinkish color and white rubber and this was a dollar as well so i was excited to have found those because i haven't had any luck at the target dollar spot lately but i'm gonna continue to look next i just picked up these paper straws and i think they're red and white but they kind of look a little pinkish and i'm gonna be real bummed if they are because i need red and they was just one dollar nothing special about that Next, I went to Dollar Tree and found this Bless Your Heart little sign. And it is super cute. And it is my color scheme that I'm doing this year for Valentine's Day. And I just picked this up for $1 at Dollar Tree. And I went to Dollar General and found this really cute little tiny garland. It's a monogram B hanger, as they say. But it's like a garland. Um, and it reminds me of the ones that... Um, I picked up from Hobby Lobby, just shorter, and it was one dollar. And um, it wasn't in my initial. I think this is a, either an I or a number one. I picked up another one that I have already started working on. I'm painting it for my Valentine's display. Um, but the lady gave it to me 50% off. I don't know why this is a new item, but I was not complaining. I was like, I guess that's my blessing for today. So, yeah, I got two of these for the price of one. And it's just super cute. It's like a light natural wood color right here and a darker color right there. So, yeah, they cute. Next, I got from the Target Dollar Spot is this little Happy Valentine's Day little baggie. And I wasn't going to get it because it was really dirty right here, as you could tell. But I think I'm going to try to spot clean it with my shout out pen. Or I might turn it inside out like this and wash it and just iron it just to get the wrinkles out since it is canvas. And I just got this to use on my tear tray for Valentine. And it was $1.00. 
Next, I don't know if I already showed you guys this, but I'm going to show it to you again. But it's this cute Love You More little banner. And it has the little layering and stitching on it. And it came from Dollar Tree for $1, of course. So if I already showed you guys this, I am truly sorry. But like I said, I have a whole bunch of stuff. I have been in these streets shopping my butt off. And I don't know what I have showed you guys already. But please forgive me. Next, since it's already in front of me, I went to Dollar General, like I said, and I stumbled across these. You guys remember these? These were really popular in the Ray Dunn community because they was considered like dupes for the Ray Dunn. Um, and they came in, I think, pinch, dash, and stash. I don't know. I know it was a larger one, a medium, and a small one. And I think the largest one was like five dollars then four and three well these original was four dollars but they was part of the um i believe 75 percent off um after christmas deal at dollar general so i only pay a dollar for them um some people um said that they found them and they paid lesser like 90 cents 60 cents but i was lucky enough to get me um these for a dollar so i am happy and i say if i do not um paint them i could just turn them around like this and display with my valentine display as well as my christmas so i was extremely happy to found those because i did see them when they first came out and i was like mm, i don't know if i want to pay five four and three for those or whatever since you know i already had pretty much all the christmas canisters that i wanted um at that time and i started looking up on more christmas canisters um far as ray dunn concerns so i was like i ain't gonna want it so when i saw them that they was on clearance i was like i get them i can never go wrong with staging those for valentine and christmas and fourth of july you know so next i'm going to show you an item from tj maxx I got this really cute and glam um, wine stopper. What well, they call it, bottle stopper. Um, and it's really, really bedazzled out. I mean, it's really, really sparkly. And I absolutely love it. I am a glam girl. I figured my um, decor style out. And I want to say that I'm more so a rustic glam. Because I do love the rustic elements of um some pieces and i do like my glam so i kind of time in together and it works you know and i know it's a popular thing on hgtv so i i fr finally figured out my decor style so yeah i picked this up um from tj maxx and it's a tahari home item and it was on clearance for 550 but when i got to the register not the old bitty they didn't want to scan the um what was that she didn't want to scan. Oh, the bottle brush tree. Um, the lady scanned it again because she said that they do mark them down again. And I did pay $2.75 for this. So that was an awesome deal. And this is a piece that was out for Christmas. But I could use this every day because it doesn't say anything about Christmas on there. It's just a super awesome piece. And um, as you guys um, probably don't know, I do have a really huge um mirror and glass armoire in my living room that i have knickknacks um in and i do have my most fanciest um wine and liquor containers at the bottom of it and i'm going to use this some kind of way i don't know i I'm, i don't know what i'm gonna do but um it matches very very good so i picked up that Next, and in that same shopping trip, I just picked up these Ray Dunn Merry and Bright napkins. And even though it was torn right here a little bit, they wasn't dirty or looked like it's been, you know, tampered with. Um, Just probably just wear and tear or whatever. And I picked this up for a dollar. And when she scanned it afterwards, it ended up coming up to 50 cents after... um. She scanned it, so what she did was just refunded me 50 cents. So I got these napkins for 50 cents, and I can always use them for this year's Christmas. You can never go wrong with no napkins. Next, um, uh, from Marshalls, I think is when I picked up that bottle brush tree. I picked up this really cute and simple season's greeting sign. It's like a shadow box sign, and it do has a little scuff scuffing up around the frame. But um, it's not too bad because 
I do like that rustic element of it. And it's in silver glitter. It'll be super good for my already decor. So I don't have to do anything to it. And it was only $2. So I thought that was a good deal. Much cheaper than the Target dollar spot. Next, um, in the, no, it wasn't that same shopping trip. It was the next day because I went to opening again. Um, well, I actually bought that picture frame with this next item because it says right on my Marshall's, um, receipt. I went to open it again and didn't look up on anything as far as Valentine is concerned. But I was able to look up on the cookies and milk set. And you guys, I did see this one time during opening a few months back. It was like early December. And I was like, ah, I don't know. I'd rather focus more so on canisters. But I was so glad to have picked this up. And um, yeah, and it was half off. It was originally um $12.99 and it was actually lower. I end up paying um $3.25 for this because I asked the lady because she's scanning. I, I always ask them when it's a red tag, I always ask them, could they scan it again just in case it's in that region where they're marking things down again for the yellow tag. So I asked her to scan it again. And um, it was actually $3.25. So I was super glad to have this for this year's Christmas. And um, yeah, I'm just so excited for this. Yep, I'm excited because at first I was like, oh, I don't, want, I don't need that. I don't, I don't need it. And I'm like, yeah, I found some. Because this opening that I went to um, yesterday, it was some new hunters there. And they was kind of looking like really, really dumbfounded on what to look for. And I was like, I already have my routine down with that store. So that's no question that if I know I was going to find something, I know where to look. Next, um, I picked up these, um, I don't know, what do you call them? Flavored syrups? Yeah, flavored syrups. I get these all the time. If you have been following me on Instagram, you guys know I have gotten these over the holiday season, especially starting in like um, Halloween and Thanksgiving. I absolutely love putting these in my coffee, but these was on clearance for one dollar and they are not expired. They don't expire to sometime because I looked it up. Um, it's July 31st, 2021. I don't know if you guys can see that small print right there. Um, and I'm pretty sure the same with this one, but this is the chocolate mint flavored syrup and it's the gourmet syrup and you guys although it's christmas flavor you can still use this stuff if you just like that flavored taste in your coffee you can use this anytime and my husband absolutely love chocolate and mint flavor stuff and i got me the christmas cookies flavor one and these was like the only two bottles on the shelf and they are by the skinny syrup and this one is by i can't even see what that one is by um the it just say the christmas of coffee i don't know what that say y'all i can't even see it even with my glass on anywho uh <laughs> that's what my girl lisa be saying anywho but um yeah i just picked these two um serves up flavor serves up for one dollar okay let's keep this haul rolling make sure i don't overlook nothing Went to the Target dollar spot and got me some um, red and white jute twine. And I did buy another one, but I'm already using it around my canisters. Stay tuned for a Valentine um, coffee bar de decor tour soon. Then I picked up this cool and fun print from Dollar Tree. And I don't know if I might, I might not even be using this because it's, it's just so wide. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this one, but I figured out something. I got that, and then I picked up some more red ribbon right here. I got three spools of it, and I got this from Dirt Cheap, and it was originally $3, as they say, but it was coming up $0.15, cents, so I got three of those, and it's just a red satin ribbon, and even if I don't use it for Valentine, I can always use it for Christmas. Can never go wrong with ribbon, especially when it's cheap. Okay, next, I want to show you... Oh, goodness. Let me, I don't know, because I don't want to forget nothing, because like last time, I was forgetting stuff. Went to Hobby Lobby, and you guys, if y'all have been seeing all online, excuse me for the rattling of the bag, um, 
y'all have been seeing everybody been trying to hunt down the new um bird houses that hobby lobby is carrying them um uh, that's carrying and i know my girl lisa over at lisa lynette have pawed one and it's a beautiful beautiful bird house now i did um spot it a while ago when it first came out i think before i saw anybody on youtube um show it um i said i was gonna get one but then i was like no because it's the same price as a ray dunn bird house it's just made by a different designer and i picked this beauty up right here and it is made by because it's not a hobby lobby item i don't know what who is by but I've heard somebody talk about the, the designer that makes these. And as you guys can tell, it has a really big chunk missing right here. Can you guys see that? Is I'm showing you guys right? No, is it right here? It's right here. Can y'all see that? That big chunk. And um, it's originally $19.99. But they had it marked down for $10. And I told the lady, I was like, even with $10, that's not a good deal. So she gave me... 40% off. So I paid $6 for this beauty. And my husband said he could actually fix that. Even if he used some clay or some paint or some putty or something, he can fix that. But even with that big piece missing, who's going to be all up in my display or my hutch like this to pay attention to this chip? Nobody. So I'm like, I'm not even worried about it. And you guys, it is super pretty and perfect for spring and summer. And it got dimples in it, just like Ray Dunn. And this is the bat. Even if I display it like this, this is still super cute paired with my Ray Dunn bird houses. Right? So I wasn't too much worried about the chip um, missing. And for $6, you can't beat it. So... I'm glad I was able to get me one because they are hot right now. Everyone is looking for them to pair with their Ray Dunn. So I was glad to find one. Next, I got this cute little block sign that I love us from um, Hobby Lobby. And it's originally $1.99. And right now, Hobby Lobby does not have any sales going on with their Valentine decor. So I paid full price for this and it just said i love us which i think is super cute for it to a tree because it's just so small it's so small and perfect to fit on your tray next i got um oh goodness excuse me a bag from tj Maxx. i told you guys I, I, i've been shopping I've been shopping. I finally went to a new TJ Maxx on the other side of town. It is kind of like in the, um, I want to say part of Mansfield, Texas. It's a new TJ Maxx, and I didn't think it was open. Um, I didn't think it was open yet because it was still looked like it was on the construction because it's a plaza. So I was on this side of town getting my truck registered. So I was like, oh, let me stop over there. Maybe they got some Ray done. But they didn't. But they did have some good um christmas clearance that is where i found the pillow it and i also found this Whew. we wish we wish you a merry christmas sign y'all see it and i got it for 450 awesome deal and it has the sticker over so i don't know what it originally um uh, was cost what it originally cost but i like 450 I take it. I hope you guys can see it in that frame. Man. So I was like, yep, yeah, I take it because that's that's a good deal. Next, I got this. I hope this can get in the frame. I got this. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it like this. This Christmas bucket list picture. And it got all these cool saying with the check box. And it has this really pretty um like um grayish tone frame and it says hang in the outdoor lights send christmas cards photos with santa get a christmas tree bake the cookies gift shopping gift wrapping decor oh decorate the house and family movie night and it has the little marker right there so you can because it's like a dry erase board so i thought this was super cool and cute and let's see, how much did I pay for this? I paid $5.50 for this, you guys. Y'all see that? 
good, good deal. So I got that. I'm trying to see what else I got. Whoo, hunty. Damn. <laughs> y'all, this video gonna be long. I told you. I hope y'all got y'all something to drink or something to nibble on. Then I got this big lots bag because they had their sale. I already went once after Christmas um shopping there. And then I went again just to see if they lowered. Because at first it was like just 50% off. And I went um Friday. It was 75% off. So I picked up a couple of things. I picked up this really cute gray and um silver. Yeah, you know, silver um wrapping paper. And it just had like little balls on it, little ornaments on it all over. And it was a reason of $3.50, but I paid like 87 cents for it. No, I take that back. Some of this stuff was 90% off. Yeah, I remember 90% off. I got that. Then I just got some packs of ornaments. That was originally $4, and I got them for a dollar. Really cute. Um, These are just five novelty um, shatterproof ornaments. Yep. So I got one pack, two, three, uh, four. And if I'm not, I don't know. I might go back tomorrow and see if they got any more because I can use these same balls to decorate my tree in the living room and my foyer tree. So. Yeah, so I got four packs of those. And then I picked up, well, my husband picked up this little boozy bear <laughs> set. <laughs> it's just a little set that has three different flavors of um, alcohol mix in it, strawberry, lime, and cherry. And you, um, it's kind of like making jello shots, but they have the little teddy bear molds in it with the little dropper so you can make the mix put the alcohol in it and take the dropper and put it in and then freeze it just like you would jello shots but it was originally 12 dollars and he paid three dollars for it so i thought that was an awesome deal and plus we do like to entertain and even just for like a little cute little date night here at the house it's just something fun and it was inexpensive and we just like buying unnecessary shit <laughs> no i'm just kidding no way because we ain't got no money to be spending just on anything or whatever. But no, we do love to entertain. I'm just going to throw this in right quick, you guys. I hope that's not bothering you guys. But I need to make room for the rest of the stuff. Uh, but no, we just we love to entertain. And we like finding cute little um, adult things to make the night even funner. Next, I got something from... What is this from? I don't know. I, oh, I picked up some more pics from... Um, You guys, if you're not aware, if you're following me on um, Instagram, then you already know CVS is having their after Christmas sale. I think it's 75% off. I'm not for sure. But I loaded up on toys and a few little decor pieces for um this year's Christmas. But I loaded up for, to, for um with toys if you saw my instagram story then you already know what i'm talking about but i picked up this little bottle brush tree from cvs no it wasn't cvs i am so sorry you guys it's walgreens and it originally um 2.99 and i paid like 80 cents for this you guys i love picking up these bottle brush trees for my little tray for my little um, living room area on my coffee table. You guys, please forgive me when I tell you I am exhausted and I'm pushing through this video. So please forgive me. My voice is cracking. I am extremely tired and I am really just getting over um, a cold. Um, so please forgive me. I love these little bottle brush trees just to add a little fun and festivity to my little tea tray. Well, it's not a tree tray. It's just a regular tray here in my um on my coffee table. So I picked another one of those up. I picked up some more doggone picks from Winko, you guys. Because I know from the last haul I told y'all I picked these up. And they was 44 cents. Well, I went my took my butt back in there to pick up something. I think it was some meat or something for dinner. And they had marked them down again. They made them 22 cents. 
So I got every last civil <laughs> that I saw. So I paid. And these are just some cute little fun little picks that you can stick little anywhere and, you know, make them full and nice. So I picked those up. And then, next, oh my goodness, you guys, I got stuff everywhere. I just picked up these little party ribbons. It's in silver. Uh, I got two in silver and they was coming up 10 cents. And I love to put these around my presents, maybe like some burlap and I'll layer it with this and I'll take my scissors and make them curly. What do you call them? Curly cues. And I do um, have them in white. I got two of those. Then I picked up these little picks right here. And I'm going to go back and get some of these because these will be perfect for my tear tray. It's just eight pieces of picks and it's just a little pine cone with a little silver bell and red berry on it and look how small and dainty those are perfect for those little tight spots on your tear tray and i picked up this door hanger from walgreens and it's crowned with the snowflake and if i'm not mistaken i paid two dollars for this yeah it was originally $7.99. I paid $2 for it. Super, super cute. I was like, yes, please. Deals, deals, deals. Next from uh, Winko, I picked up this coffee scoop and clip. It's just a chrome little clip. Now, it's supposed to be if you're scooping coffee out of the bag. But if you guys seen my display, you know I have that black one. I use it for just props in my... In my um my display. That's what I do. I'm gonna take it out the box so you can see it a little bit better. But I use it as a prop and sometimes I will use it. It looks like a little melon ball scooper, but it's actually supposed to be for coffee. So this is what it looks like, and it has that clip on the side so you can scoop it out the bag and clip it on the bag to keep the bag clothes and keep your coffee fresh but sometimes i just use them as little props and decor pieces in my hutch on my tea tray to go along with maybe buy my um tea kettle or buy anything that i think need a little little something to jizz it up or just a little bit so yeah i picked that up for 40 cents from wink O. Okay, let's see what else I got. Y'all, I'm almost done. Okay, from Dollar General, I just picked up these little red containers to organize my um, gift tags. Um, and it just says Merry and Bright, and I paid 30 cents for these. I only found two. I would have gotten more if I have saw them. But it's just little nice ways to organize your christmas tags you could do neutrals here and colors here but i just thought it would be a good um way just to organize to stay organized i got another bag from tj max and i did what uh did find me a little pine cone tree right here it's just a little um cement base pot with white and it kind of fades off into the gray and it was three dollars and fifty cents i don't know how much it originally was but it's just this little artificial plastic um tree with the little pine cones on it and if i wanted to use it every day i could just pop those pine cones off but this will be cute just for a pop of greenery in my living room. But I don't know. I might try to go back and um, look and see if I can find another one. Because I did have two originally, but I put one back because I was like, oh, I don't need two. But now I'm thinking about it, I should have got two because I can use them um, all year round if I want to pop those little pine cones off. All right, you guys, we're almost through. Next, I got this all things are possible with your love i don't know if i showed you guys this but this came from walmart and it was a dollar 88 and it just had that galvanized um look to it i think i did show you guys this because i remember telling you guys they had that galvanized look to it so i got that then i picked up this infamous hobby lobby sign everybody's been picking it up 
for their cheer tray, but it says Love Bruce here in this super cute black font with the coffee cup right there. And it has the galvanized kind of like a, I don't know, wavy galvanized frame. And it does have a little jute twine right here so you can hang it up if you choose to, but I'm not going to do that. It was originally $4.99, but I used a 40% off coupon on it, which made it like $3.25, something like that. Um, but I'm not going to hang it up, you guys. I was actually thinking about if I could take that off, but I don't want to mess it up. But I'm going to put it on my coffee bar somewhere. Next, I picked up this really cute garland. I Oh, my God. Y'all, this garland is so cute. It is red and white, and it has this really big heart on the bottom and the tassel on this end and it's already looped and it was $8.99 from Hobby Lobby and I did use another 40% coupon on it because I got out of line because I wanted to be fair. I got out of line and I um I let the other people come um check out and then I paid for this. So I paid like five dollars or something for that. Okay, and I think this is going to be, well, the last of the re uh, regular items. Next, I picked up the Sweets um, 25 cents jar that everybody have been hauling. It's clear with the light coral color font and a coral light pink color lid. And it was um, $3 from the Target dollar spot. I did... Um, I was able to find all three because it's like this one, a one with a white heart on it, and the other one that said candy. But I put the one that says candy back because I was like, I might not end up using it. I don't want it to be hoarding. But now I'm going to look for the one that says candy. So I got that. And last of the decor, I did pick up two of these regular green Sterilite bins. Um, for Walmart, nothing special about that. I was just showing you that they were on sale for three dollars, and it's a great way to store and put away all your holiday decor. Okay, you guys, and last but not least, let's get into some Ray Dunn. Okay, you guys, so I already know if I put the word Ray Dunn in my title, we already know why you guys are here, and I appreciate you guys going through all that just to get to the end and to the good stuff. So I was able and lucky enough to run across a couple of Valentine's Day mugs at TJ Maxx the other day. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. The first mug I want to show you is this XOXO mug with the red inside. And I, like I said, I got it from TJ Maxx and it was $5.99, and oddly, it was only just one, and it was like early part of the morning, so I don't know if someone snatched the other, um, others up prior to opening, um, like, well, not prior to opening, but like later on that day before, um, so it was only one of these, so I was glad to have, to have even got this, so yeah, got the XOXO, Okay, next, I was able to find Couples Gold, and I just think this is absolutely darling. At first, I thought it was <laughs> pertaining to single people, because you guys already know I am a married woman. But I asked one of my done buddies, she was like, it's just what you um, take from it. And from what I take from it is that my relationship is Couples goes so i picked this up from tj maxx for 5.99 so i thought that was super cute next i found and they don't have no color in the inside you guys which i'm a little bummed about but it's okay next i found the heart the big heart mug with the little on the back with the red interior and it's just the simplicity of this super super cute and i just thought it was super cute to be paired next to that um, bless your heart sign if you don't follow me on Instagram. You already saw that little picture that I posted, I think yesterday or this morning or whatever. But I picked this up and it was $5.99 from TJ Maxx. I just love it. Just it's cute. Next, I was able to pick up the hot stuff and it has the red in top, inside the red writing. TJ Maxx, $5.99. 
But yeah, I just think that just it just that's just cute. It's just cute, like hot stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that'll be cute to display on your tea tray with all the hot stuff, your teas and your coffee. So yeah, that is cute. And last but not least, you guys, I have found the item that I have been really, really hunting for. And although it's not per se Valentine's Day related, but it's still you can still work it into your Valentine's Day decor. But I was able to find the, let me get it together because I don't want nothing to happen. The beauty, no, look at me, tell me the damn <laughs> Ah, I'm so goofy. I was able to find the Beauty and the Beast mug set. And it was in the box, but I already took it out. You guys, it's the pretty baby pink beauty and the black bees and i just thought this is just absolutely darling because i've been looking for this set for quite some time now i do have the white set but now that i have this i'm like uh should i return them should i return them? because i have not used them yet they were just for decor purposes so yeah i am so glad that i finally found these and like i said this was in a set so i paid 12.99 for it well, I think that is all. Oh my God, you guys. That video, this, this video is just so long. I hope you guys have truly enjoyed this haul. I know it was long. And I know probably some of you like stopping and looking back and stopping and looking back. But I appreciate you for even doing that. Like I said before, you guys, if you're not already subscribed and be a part of my Sunshine, sunshine Squad, please consider doing so. Um, and make sure you like this video and comment if you like this type of content. It helps your girl out. And all my Ray Dunn followers that I did lose, come on back. Your girl gonna get back in the swing of things, I promise you. It's gonna get back fun. It's gonna get back cracking. Just give, you give your girl some time. I'm gonna get it back together. Until my next one, Sunshine. Mwah! Hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.